Frank Warren is very proud to bring you our first boxing contest since lockdown. Proudly sponsored by Unibet, 32 Red and Foot Asylum. This is six three minute rounds of boxing in the lightweight division. On the bell, our timekeeper, Stephen Pucci, in charge of the action. Our referee from Doncaster, Yorkshire, Mr. Michael Alexander. And now, ladies and gentlemen, time to meet the boxers. Firstly, boxing out of the red corner, wearing black with gold, weighing in at nine stone, nine pounds, eight ounces. A seven fight record, three wins, one inside the distance, four defeats from the Vises in Wiltshire. He is Little Canelo, Stu Greener. And across the ring, Boxing out of the blue corner, wearing white with black. Official weight, nine stone, 11 pounds, eight ounces. He brings a perfect record. Five contests, five wins, three KOs. From Portsmouth, Hampshire, it's Marky Boy, Mark Chamberlain. Well, here we go then, Richie, and a big size difference between these two. Mark Harry. Chamberlain, second up, round one. Portsmouth, <laughs> five foot eleven, which for a lightweight is tall. Stuart Greener, stockier, and uh, as his trainer says, he doesn't care who he fights. He wants to put on a show, and he's hard as nails. He's going to have to be hard as nails tonight, John. He's got his work cut out here against Chamberlain. Tall, rangy. He's got a bit of power as well. Oh, good shot. Caught him with a solid left hand, and he's in trouble straight away here. Greener and going down. Less than 30 seconds of the fight completed, and it was the left hook that started it. That was what did the damage. Yeah, he started quick, hasn't he, Chamberlain? Green has come out firing himself, he knows he's got to get close up to Chamberlain, but he's walking onto too many. That's his problem, and here goes Chamberlain again. Well, he's got to find a way to survive here, and Chamberlain looking to take him out right now in this opening round. And the referee, Michael Alexander, says enough is enough, and it's over in the opening round. No, that was very impressive indeed from Chamberlain. But he's worked together very well indeed. Green has come out, he's short, he knows he's got to try and get close to Chamberlain or he's going to be outboxed, but he's walked onto a couple of big punches early on in the contest, and Chamberlain, fair play to him, he jumped on him and he's finished him off. Good performance from Chamberlain. Tall lad, southpaw, and heavy-handed, so it would seem. Yeah, he's very tall for the weight, isn't he? He's got a big future ahead of him. Okay, let's have a look at it here. So there's a couple of, he's switching the attack there, isn't he? Good right up to the body, but then he switches it upstairs and just finishes off very well indeed. Impressive the way he picked his punches and worked the body to create that opening. And Greener was in trouble from an early stage. He was relying on somehow getting past the longer reach of Chamberlain, working inside, but it wasn't to be. Now, a couple of good shots there from Chamberlain. He started off with a lovely one-two right-up combination, but then switches downstairs with a couple of hooks. Soften Green up a little bit. And then he the back to the head. See it again here from another angle. Yeah, this is just the finishing. I think John here. And finish him off with a free weight. And oh, a couple of that left up a good downstairs was a cracking shot. It really was. Michael Alexander watching on closely. Nothing coming back. Greener doesn't like it, but he decides that enough is enough. So that makes it six out of six for Mark Chamberlain. Trained by Wayne Batten down there in Portsmouth. In boxing, apparently, since he was six years old. He and his brother are also, was also a pro. They were getting bullied at school. So mum took them along to the local boxing gym. And here he is, 15 years later, with an undefeated record. Yeah, it's a nice little story, isn't it? It's sort of many a young player, doesn't it? Amateur and pro, and uh, he's doing well, Chamberlain. He's tall, he's rangy, he's got a good style, a bit of power there. And uh, yeah, he's switching the attack from, from body to head. He, he worked well there. Very good uh, amateur record. 2018 elite lightweight champion. Claims to have won 44 of 48 in the amateurs and now making sizeable ripples as a professional. And tonight, against a tough guy, 
He outclassed him and showed power and finished it very well. He did jump, I mean, Green is game, he's got a lot of bottle. And he, he, he went to Chamberlain, but like I say, he just walked onto too many early on. And Chamberlain just took his chance. It was a good performance. So the referee calls them both together. And we can go back to our master of ceremonies, Craig Stephen, for confirmation of the result. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time of the stoppage, 55 seconds into round number one. Referee Michael Alexander, he stops the contest. In his opinion, Stu Greener in no position to continue. Therefore, the winner, the journey continues undefeated for Marky Boy, Mark Chamberlain. Good win, tougher tests ahead, but he didn't do too much wrong tonight, Paul.